Hey there guys, new tutorial. So it has been long since I haven't made a tutorial. I didn't um, have a lot of time lately, but today I'm making a special one. And this is how to get MX Simulator for Mac. So what is this game? This game is a motocross game, but it's actually a simulator because it has real physics. And you have the clutch, you have the gears. You can put an analog clutch if you have a joystick. And it's actually a great game and I play it a lot because I like motorbikes so um, first of all um, you know that with window and screen errors you go to your wineskin app here with the show package contents and you set your screen options mine is an automatic but if you have any uh, um, screen issues you can override it to full screen just like always so let's just leave this um, automatic and the next step is double click your game because I'm going to compress a zip file of this game and I will leave the link in the description to, for download so the game is working actually great it's not the latest version because the latest version is paid and this version is actually um, free by now so it's 1.7 so everything is working um, perfectly the only thing that is not working is the multiplayer because of course it's not a paid version if it was a paid version you'd get the multiplayer available so you have all your controls here this is all the options you get and i am using a ps3 controller for it which i highly recommend because it's um it has a better gameplay with a controller then you have your um, your video settings here and your graphic setup. You can after um, get your bikes. You can download new bikes, um, and you can get skins for them. Like you can download helmets from the internet from a website. I'm gonna leave the links um, in the description below, like Pure MXX, and you can get your riding gear, and also you can get skins for your motorbike. Um, and you can get your wheels. Um, I got here some Maxis um, wheels and I also got some Supermoto default and Dunlop wheels there. So I can leave some links in the description for this. And then you have your suspension and gearing, like your rear sprocket and your counter shaft sprocket. You can get more acceleration or more high speeds and your advanced stability setup. And then you can go for time trial, which is what I do all the time, just to train, just to have a bit of fun. And then you can go to point series and you can play back a race or you can start a new race and you can add players to all these gates here. Select your track, select the robot skill and select the time or just the laps. So pretty much um, this is everything, guys. So I'm sorry for not uh, being releasing this tutorial for a long time. But I'm expecting to make Counter-Strike Source work now and probably I'll be making a new tutorial on GTA San Andreas and to get Clio mods on for it, which I actually done before but it was a long time ago and things have changed. So thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions just leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.